Well, the jury has found in favor of Johnny Depp on every single one of his defamation claims against Amber Heard. The jury awarded him $10 million in compensatory damages, which are designed to compensate the victim for damages they've actually suffered. In this case, that's stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean dropping Johnny and him missing out on other Hollywood roles. But they also awarded $5 million of punitive damages. These are really rare in civil cases, and they're only awarded when the jury thinks that the defendant, here, Amber, was especially harmful and had really egregious conduct. But, again, the judge reduced the punitive of damages to only $350,000 because that's what Virginia law caps it at. In accordance with law, I will amend the punitive damages um, award to the statutory cap of $350,000 on Mr. Depp's award, okay? Right, you actually can't get more than $350,000 in punitive damages in Virginia. Even if the jury awards more than that, the judge will bring it down. It's a super weird law and juries don't even get to know about it. Importantly, Amber did score one victory here as well. The jury found in favor of her on one count of defamation where she alleged that Johnny's agent defamed her. Remember, in this case, they were both suing each other. For that, she was awarded $2 million in compensatory damages, but with no punitive damages. Amber certainly might end up appealing, but as of now, the overall outcome puts Johnny ahead by $8 million. 350,000.